morning, boys and girls. This is Pastor Brian and Miss Mary, and we're here to talk to you today about love. So all month in Sunshine Kids, you've been watching videos about loving one another. So we thought a great way to start out was to play a little game. So we're gonna play a game called, What Is It? I'm gonna blindfold Pastor Brian and give him a few objects we found around the house and see if he can guess what it is. Sunshine Kids, I've gathered some things from around the house and I'm going to give Pastor Brian an item to see if he can figure out what is it. All right, number one, Pastor Brian, hold this. What is it? It's hard. It's got little balls on it. It's got like five little balls on it and stick legs. I think this is one of those massager things that you massage or scratch your head or massage people with. Is that right? That's right. It's a back massager. Very good. All, All right. right. Number one was good. Let's try number two. Ready? Ready. What is it? Huh. This feels soft. Doesn't make a noise. It feels like it's made of wicker or something like that. I'm not sure. Is this a, is this is this a cat toy? It's kind of like a cat toy because our cat does play with it, but it's just a little wicker ball that we use for decoration around the uh, house. Yeah, but it's, you it's did a cat. Good. It's a cat toy. Okay, that was good. All right, number three. What is it? What is it? This is. It's got a big opening on this side and a small opening on this side. That's kind of. Got like sharp little teeth on this end. Um, feels like it's plastic and it's very smooth on the inside and outside, except for these sharp teeth right here. I think, I think this is one of your icing funnels that you, where you squirt icing on cupcakes. That's exactly right. It's a decorating tip. This is the star tip for when we decorate cakes. You did great on the game, what is it? Yay for yeah. Pastor Brian. We have some other things we want to teach you today about love. Okay, boys and girls, I'm going to read from the letter of 1 John, chapter 4. The Father has sent His Son to be the Savior of the world. We have seen it. We give witness to it. God lives in anyone who agrees that Jesus is the Son of God. That kind of person remains joined to God. So we know that God loves us. We depend on it. God is love. Anyone who leads a life of love shows that he is joined to God, and God is joined to him. So love is made complete among us. We will be bold on the day God judges us. That's because in this world we love as Jesus loved. There is no fear in love. Instead, perfect love drives fear away. Fear has to do with being punished. The one who fears does not have perfect love. We love because he first loved us. Anyone who says he loves God, but in fact hates his brother or sister is a liar. He doesn't love his brother or sister whom he has seen. So he can't love God whom he has not seen. Here is the command God has given us. Anyone who loves God must also love his brothers and sisters. And so, boys and girls, while love isn't always something we can touch with our hands or taste with our mouths, love is often something we can see with our eyes. And so here are a couple of examples of how we can see love in action. Hey, Mom, you worked really hard making dinner. Why don't you let me clean up? Gosh, Josh, that would be great. Thanks. Here you go. Hey, Dad, you need me to speak? Go on, Dad. Well, thank you, Matthew. I appreciate that. In 
in the Bible passage that Pastor Brian read, we learned that we love because God first loved us. And in those videos, you saw our sons, Matthew and Joshua, show love to their parents here in our own home. And so what we hope you'll do now is take that lesson learned and that you will go home and put it to practice yourself and that you will love your family well, just as Christ has loved you well. We hope to see you again really soon, Sunshine Kids. God bless you. We love you. Bye. Bye.